I'm sitting on Ego's 52-inch battery-powered zero-turn lawnmower, and while there are a lot of things that are the same as the 42-inch model we saw last year, there are a lot of new things to discover as well. Let's talk about it. The controls are primarily the same. You've still got the same lap bars up here. They're still calibratable, so if you see the one side is moving a little bit differently than the other, you can fix that, no problem. Moving over here to the actual control deck, we've got the same LCD screen, we've got the same blade controls, key, start and stop. Now, a lot of stuff is going on in the control panel here, so you have multiple blade speed modes and multiple drive speed modes. Now, we like to run in high on both of these, but if you're teaching somebody how to use a ZT that hasn't used one before, or you're making the transition yourself, go ahead and dial that speed down a little bit. But you also have three modes here. You got control, standard, and sport. Now, we know what we're doing. We usually run in standard mode. Sport's gonna give you even jumpier acceleration. If you're new to ZTs, go ahead and use that control mode as you get used to it. Now, if you have particularly thick grass, notice that if you hold down the blade control, you can jump up here into a turbo mode. It takes about five seconds of holding that button down. Go into it because it's going to really reduce your runtime. Cut that thick patch that you need to get rid of and then go ahead and kick it back down. We like those blade speeds in high. If you've got drier grass or thinner grass, you can get away with mowing at lower speed blade speeds. But once you're really into the mowing season, that high blade speed is going to give you the best cut quality and the best distribution of those clippings. And if you're like me and your phone is constantly in danger of slipping out because you've got a nice little cell phone pocket on your pants, go ahead and Drop that bad boy right in there. It fits wonderfully. You can listen to your music, you can keep it out of the way, and then not run it over with the three blades underneath this 52-inch deck. One of the things that we absolutely love that Ego brought over from the 42-inch model is the battery level indicator. It's right there at your feet, so it's very easy to see while you're mowing. It'll start blinking at you if you're getting close to being dead, and the mower will even go into a limp mode so that you can get back without being stuck in the middle of a field. The deck height adjustment is still very, very easy. You can do it with one hand. It's on your right hand side. The only thing that's a little odd is Ego's got these one third inch increments. So if you really need the difference between a two and a half inch cut and a two and two thirds inch cut, you might be a little too OCD for this. Need cash to grow your construction business but don't want to take on debt? GoBuild is a construction payment solution that makes it easy to access cash from your projects faster so you can take on more work pay your subcontractors on time, and improve your bottom line, all without taking on debt. To see how GoBuild can help you, visit www.go.build slash ProToolReviews and hit the sign up button today. Now, almost every battery powered lawnmower these days has LED lights on the front. That's nothing unusual, Ego's got them there. But they weren't content to just do what everybody else is doing, and they actually added more. So notice we've got LEDs on the side of the mower here too. So when you're gonna mow at night, you actually have a much broader, brighter LED throw than any other mower out there. All right, now among the battery powered zero turns that are available, Ego has the most comfortable seat and it's got the most adjustment to it. So plenty of room to move up and back based on your height, but then like a professional grade mower, they also have a seat tension adjustment right here. So if you're a lighter guy like Clint is, he can dial that down so he's not being jolted all over the place. And if you're a bigger guy like me, you can, boom, you can move that tensioning up so that you're not bottoming it out in every bump. You got a couple of cup holders over here on the left hand side. One big one for that big old 32 ounce or 64 ounce big gulp. One that's going to fit a soda here. It's not going to fit a beer just because the beer is for after you're done mowing, not during. Because we know none of you mow and drink beer at the same time. Under the latch here, we've got some storage area, and there is a 1.5 amp USB port in there, so you can move your phone over here, plug it in, and let it charge while you're mowing if you want to. And you got a nice little magnetic closure, so this isn't going to bounce open on you. And once you're done mowing for the day, your charging port is right here. It is a spring-loaded latch, and the thing we love about it is, boom, you just plug your charger in right there. You don't have to remove the batteries, and if you really want to, you can use your ZT as a six-port charger for your other Ego batteries. Now, as far as the batteries that come with this set, it's going to be those six 12 amp hour batteries. And in this mower, it's going to take about four hours to fully charge them. Open up the back hatch and we see that we've got our six batteries in here. Now, notice the gas piston that helps keep this thing open. We do like that. Now, the batteries that come with the 52 inch ZT are these 12 amp hour packs. So these are the biggest ones that Ego's currently making. Six of them come with the set. We do recommend that you get the most power and the most runtime. You go ahead and use all six of them, but you can use any combination as long as you've got at least 15 amp hours worth of batteries in there. Like I said, 
This comes with the set, so go ahead and use them first. And if you got a little bit of mowing left to do, go ahead and pop a couple of other batteries in there to wrap up. But stick with these for the majority of your mowing. All right, another change that Ego made is on the deck. Not only is it 10 inches larger at 52 inches, there are three blades running under here, and they have shifted from a stamped steel deck to a fabricated deck. So this is more durable than we saw in the previous model. It's a bigger mower. We expect more durability. Let's talk about performance for a minute. Now, this mower is capable of producing the gas equivalent of a 25 horsepower engine. So there's plenty of muscle behind those blades. Now, in our runtime tests, we went out and cut it with the blade speed and the drive speed at level four, high, not turbo, but at high. And we had a medium cut in Bahia and St. Augustine grasses. We were able to cut for an hour and 15 minutes. Now, if you were able to maintain that cut for the mower's top speed, you'd actually cut four and a half acres out of it. Now, realistically, most of us are gonna mow closer four, four and a half miles an hour. And in that case, you're looking at easily covering two and a half to three acres on one charge. Let's wrap this up with price. The mower along with six 12 amp hour batteries and that onboard fast charging is gonna run $69.99. Now that's not cheap, but we don't expect a mower like this to be inexpensive either. So you have any questions or wanna let us know about your experience with this mower or the 42 inch, feel free to drop those in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.